Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. How are you? I'm always excited. No, I'm just being sarcastic. It's late night and it's tarot after dark. Okay, sit down. Okay. You know, it's a chill vibe in tarot after dark. Okay. Normally, this is the time where you, you talk after your best friend, your mom, and then it's time for me and Sal. Because <laughs> your best friend is also watching their own zodiac, right? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Glamour Crystal, it's back just like your ex, isn't it? Mercury Retrograde brought this box again. <laughs> Check it out! Okay, okay, see, it's a box that you can't let go. <laughs> well, one, okay, um, it's amazing, so we brought it back. Um, and if you guys uh, want to participate in the, um, in the raffle for a personal read with me, which I don't do anymore, <laughs> um, it's a 10-minute video reading that you get you get to be part of your order number is the raffle ticket basically it's live so you will see it um, be drawn okay so that's that so check it out until june 19 only for this box okay but the box continues you know forever there in the website this one is the spray for people who are wondering it's available also separate from the box now it comes in different love protection i don't know um body odor no you don't have that that one you need axe yes for that okay <laughs> this one is metaphysical so we can't solve that okay so check it out it's at the website etreadlove.me or in the description down there okay so taurus how have you been venus retrograde tell me about it right tell your lagna lord i of course i follow say dear astrology right people always want to ask let's let's be clear here okay taurus if you want the reading to manifest in physical form, the ascendant is the key. Ascendant is the key. The moon is how the person thinks and you think, of course, meaning, um, and feels. The moon is the mood. So you want to check the mood, your mood, watch your moon sign. Mm. Sun sign is your soul. So you will always resonate with the soul. That's how you feel, I mean, like, not internally, you know, embedded in you. It's, that's you. So you're always resonate with that. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this is, uh, well, maybe someone's asking. <laughs> Here we go, though. Let's see. So we're focusing on you. And let's see what's going on here for my Tyrrhenians. Oh, no, I was talking about that because of the planet, right? So Venus retrograde, Mercury already retrograde, Jupiter and Saturn already retrograde. So, well, it's just the four planets, plus Rahu Ketu is always retrograde. So what's left? Sun and Moon. And then the eclipse in Gemini. Your second house will be eclipsed. Be careful on your money, finances, and savings. Family might be affected also, because that's where the solar eclipse is going to happen. And the nodes are going to be moving towards you pretty soon by September. So life-changing things is about to happen. Things will just, uh, I feel like... Um, you will have a moment of reborn, uh, but it might be a struggle. We know how your mom struggled when she was giving birth or how you give birth, right, mom? That's how it's going to feel. But it's going to be good because they gave birth to a Turinian. <laughs> Here we go. Nine of Wands. It's painful, Cell. It's painful. What's hurting you? What's hurting you? Mm. The Nine of Wands is the card of I have fought for this long enough and i'm in pain i call this the nine of wounds okay the nine of wounds is it's not about you were betrayed it's because you were fighting for the relationship you wanted it to happen you wanted it to manifest you wanted it to succeed you wanted it to be um a success you know and we know you know you as a venusian of course right then of course the desire to work the partnership as far as like let's be let's be equals here you know let let me love you and how about you love me too but you didn't get that 
you didn't get love with the nine of wands you got hurt right so the person is basically what insensitive to you nine of wands i mean i'm not adding fuel to the fire i'm just adding gasoline just saying mm -hmm. you're in pain mm. you are being the nine of wands because of what they were not there for you and were you there for them of course you were you're the fighter this is mars energy also and that's your seventh house right scorpio hmm. it's a little bit challenging having a scorpio seventh house for the trinians because scorpios they're ruthless don't worry about them i drag every zodiac by the hair if i'm reading for a zodiac i focus on the taurus so you have this very complicated seventh house because it's the house that is transformative meaning that it, Scorpio house and then you move it to the uh, partnership so it's always breaking up and there's always a breaking point and things are just like a nuclear bomb in the relationship one minute you're making love next minute you just release the nuclear bomb between the two of you mm -hmm. I think that you guys invented a term make love not war mm -hmm. but you guys mix it together war and love mm. Now oh, we just started. Hermit, what pains you is that one. I mean, what? They ghosted you. They said they needed some time out, right? When someone tells you, I need some time out, don't even think that they're coming back. Mm -hmm. In relationship, there is no time out. In, the, in marriage, there is no time out. So it's either yes or no. If they want that, it only means that they were already halfway out. They just needed to, I guess, pack their stuff or um, pack their thoughts. I mean, put, put their thoughts together, pack their thoughts, put their thoughts together before they even say, you know what? I thought about it. I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. That's the hermit. So don't expect the ghoster, which is the hermit, to come back. That's a Virgo. Mm. The, the problem with dealing with a Virgo, okay, ascendant or moon sign, is that they were born to be single. Do you know that? Probably they didn't. Okay? Virgos are the virgins. So how can the virgin have a relationship? Then, of course, it's going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. And then where is Venus? Debilit uh, Venus is debilitated in Virgo, right? Um, but that, that, that one is like debilitation and exaltation. It's like, that's, uh, that's debatable. But as a house, okay, as a Virgo house or Virgo itself, okay, this person that you're dealing with, oh, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for their chart to be in a relationship. Hmm. You got an Ace of Swords. So it hurts you that they ghosted you. Um, and I feel here like you just want to have um, some closure, Taurus. You want to talk to them. Um, it's like if I can just have a word and clear things out, that's gonna help me, you know, I hear you I hear you loud and clear Taurus loud and clear Because the ace of swords is all about I just want a clear honest communication and that way you can move forward with your life, right? Mm. With the three of pentacles, but what they do they say they're busy. They're at work. I'm sorry. I can't you know, it's like I'm sorry, honey I can't oh well, they don't call you honey because they ghosted you already, right? Three of Pentacles. So, what? Five days, they reply, Oh, sorry, I was busy. Really don't have time right now. Okay. Okay. So, this person just loves to step on you, over you, in the Nine of Wands. You're already in pain, and this person keeps just adding some salt into it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Six of Cups. Oh. Taurus, why can't we let go? Why do we love someone this much when you're in pain already? Sal, if you only know what love means. I know what love means. This is not it. Mm -hmm. You're being a slave. Only Britney was a slave and she made millions out of it. Yes, when she released that album. Are you releasing an album? No. You don't, do you have a millions with this? No. Mm. So stop saying that you're a slave to love. Six of Cups, you can't let go. You just love love. And you just love to get hurt, Taurus. Mm-hmm. I'm like your best friend who doesn't know how to shut up because we just started. Mm-hmm. And you came to the wrong party. 
It's time after dark. We go to the details of this relationship. So you can't let go. You want to talk. Sagi said a reading where someone wants to talk. I'll tell you what happens. I think they didn't. I can't remember. <laughs> the Seven of Swords. Ah, the Ghoster. So I even know when they go out. I know where they go, but I can't call them out. It's because then I'm snooping. Nine of Wands with the Seven of Swords. You caught someone lying to you. Mm-hmm. You caught someone sneaking out. Mm-hmm. You see my face? It's my resting B-I-T-C-H face. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Underneath the Hermit is the Four of Wands. They say they were not ready for a relationship and they're in one. Ay, caramba. You can't let go. You love someone who's involved, who wants to be involved with someone else. That's a problem right here. Okay. The reason why they ghosted you. Hello, Four of Wands. Ay, ay, ay. Under the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Cups, they're going to continue walking away. I feel like communication with someone who's really doesn't want to talk right now. Let's not push it, right? Mm. Let me see. Under the Three of Pentacles, we get a Page of Wands. Just one text out. Just one text. Seriously, Taurus, give me that phone. Hand me the phone. Hand me the phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can't let go. You want to talk to them. Six of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel that uh, the person really sees you as a person that they love. Okay, so they do. They do love you with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. They do love you because they love a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups. What they told you is that what they have told to everyone also. Okay. So, this is the time where I say, grab some chips, some chocolate, some Snicker bars, ice cream. Because we're halfway. Okay? We're halfway. We'll get there. How about you get me a soda? La Croix. People drink that. I don't know why it is, though. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Temperance. Okay. Why do you want to make it work? Now, if you're going to be a Taurus, you guys say, no, I don't want to make it work. I don't know who you're reading. Well, it's not you, darling. There's a Taurus here who wants to be back with someone who cheated with them. Plain and simple. Okay. Even though they're already with someone. Plain and simple. You're not the only Taurus in the world, are you? Mm-hmm. Temperance with the Seven of Swords. Because a lot of people just wants to cleanse right away. It's not you, then. There's no name that is posted in this reading. So I'm just reading whoever is resonating. And it's also a prediction. Temperance with the Seven of Swords. You clearly still want to reconcile with the person who's cheated on you. High Priestess with the Five Ones. There was hidden affair. So they kept their affairs hidden from you. Very, very good. Every time they're ghosting you. Every time you can't reach this person, they're with someone. I can't. I cannot mm, unsee the Seven of Swords and the Four of Ones. That's a different relationship. The one that you're not part of. Mm hmm Let me see here. Under the Eight of Cups? Ah, say the party. Mm. Guy, girl, whatever it is, they love, love, and they love to go around. Mm-hmm. This person likes to go in a, what you call in the, what do you call it, in the amusement park? A merry-go-round. Mm-hmm. Mm. Here we go. Page of Wands. Hangman. Okay, well, Sal, I'll stick with this right now. You're not desperate, Taurus, are you? Why you don't want to cut this person off? Why do you want to compromise yourself? Why? Is this love, really? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And, oh, yes, it is love. And then the lovers came. My golly. You're in love. But if I was your mom... Mm-hmm. I get the clipper and buzz your hair right now. Mm-hmm. And you're not gonna get out of this house. Yeah? We don't do that. That's abuse. <laughs> the lovers, seven of cups and a six of cups. You can't let go because you're in love. They're in love with you too. Like what I told you. See, I told you, seven of cups, they love you too. And with the lovers though, of course, 
And then the four of wands. Their heart can belong to you, but the relationship part, they find it with someone else. I don't know if that makes any kind of difference. Some people do that. It's called being a mistress or a mister. They stay committed to the wife or the husband, but then the emotional connection is with someone else. I feel like you're the emotional, but they have to stay committed to someone. Can't win them all. Okay, here we go. That's why I stay in my career. No, I <laughs> oh, remember, the tire after dark gets another line. So, here we go. But in this line, we need to do social distancing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Six feet under is what this person is. No kidding. Here we go. Six of swords. Well, you haven't really talked to them. You guys haven't really discussed. You haven't really opened up about this reconciliation. That's why you said, I just need one, one, one chance. I just need, I just need to talk to them. Well, with the six of swords, you haven't really spoken up. Six of Pentacles, you want to reach out, but they're maintaining their safe distance from you. So they're practicing social distancing, okay? A law-abiding citizen, are you? Six of Pentacles, they would reply, but not really enthusiastic. Um, you know, the breadcrumbs. So you already know that this person is, oh, well, they haven't replied. Past uh, four years, must be with someone already. Six of Pentacles, they're trying to keep their distance because they're with someone. Under the Three of Cups, Page of Swords, you already know about this, meaning you found out. Yeah, you found out. You, you don't found out a person is cheating through tarot. You found out in real life, okay? And which you did. King of Pentacles, so you are a person as a giver with a hangman. You're a person as a lover, yes. And you're a person who's just gonna hang around. And that's the truth. Underneath the lovers is a nine of cups. You're wishing that the two of you can be together. I don't know, Taurus. I really don't know. Okay? I don't know. Nine of cups with the lovers, you know, you really want to be with them. How about I become single and you can, you, I mean, I can give him a number. How about that? <laughs> No, please no DMs. Please, please. You guys know how many DMs I get. Oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> Nine of Cups with the love. It's all right. <laughs> okay. I'm not single. I already got a lot of rings. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> a lot of rings. <laughs> See? I stay committed to a lot. Okay. Nine of Cups with the lovers. It shows here that um, you haven't given up on love. You haven't given up on them. And I just here like a friend. I'm just gonna support you as much as I can, since you don't want to give up. And extended, we'll see how this pans out. So you're not giving up, and you're in love. You have Gemini, okay. You have Pisces. You have Leo, younger fire sign is also here. You got Aqua. You got Sag. You got Taurus, Pisces, okay. Virgo, okay. So we'll see you in extended. All right, Taurus, have a wonderful, wonderful night. This is your Tarot After Dark. Everything is going to be down there or at my website at eatreadlove.me. Bye, guys.